What is up? This is your boy Anecdotal, and today we have finally unlocked Mirio. If you didn't see how I got the hero coins to do that, make sure to watch my last video on AI challenges. But here we go, man. We can finally see what Mirio is made of, and it looks like he has a superhero punch. So yeah, man, the basic attack looks pretty cool. The targeting, however, does feel kind of off in the final attack for his basics. Let's check out what his W is like. This is, I think, what the famous uppercut that everyone's been talking about is like. So far, it doesn't look too flashy. He kind of reminds me of, what's his name from DC? Martian Manhunter. He kind of reminds me of Martian Manhunter, which is basically kind of a counterpart of Superman. So he's flying over there and he has that sort of permeability. So, you know, it's nothing new that we haven't seen before, but it is pretty cool and pretty creative the way it's used here. But I hope that the attacks aren't super weak. He kind of looks like he has the Aizawa effect. Luckily, he only has two different stances with that Q, but the W is cool and it goes into the E. The E, vice versa, goes into the W. And it looks like we don't have to worry too much because the W just goes into the W while the E could also go into the E. What is this? Oh, there's a little wrinkle into it. You can interrupt the E by using a basic attack and it only works if you interrupt. So if you're too late, it doesn't do anything. I don't, I don't, I'm looking at the damage. It doesn't look like it does any more damage than, than not interrupting. I'm not really sure, but I can't wait to test out a hero rating, but look at this. All right. The ult, does it create a letter or is it just a whole lot of zigzags? I think it's a whole lot of zigzags and then an attack. But yeah, not bad. So it looks like after you use the W or the E, everything becomes enhanced. And then you can use W, E again. Q is to change stances. The regular attack there can, can give you some slow. And when you're maxed, the W and E can also just be enhanced and other ways to do combos. And once you have five stacks on that Q is when you're going to do the big boy damage. But it doesn't look like having less stack and using that Q will waste it like as if you're All Might. Because when you're All Might and you use the Q max seven stats you end up doing a huge attack but if you use it early on the five or on the four you end up like completely wasting the queue and you have to build up stacks again here it looks like those stacks are permanent so i'm just looking at how he works here on auto i do like the the e move but the combo where he does like a little yada 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 yada, yada. jojo bizarre kind of thing that's really cool it's kind of short and again i don't know how i feel about the last attack with his auto I feel like it's going to be super tricky and annoying for PvP for people that try to run back. We already know he's a PvP freak, man. He is apparently S tier PvP. Now, me, as someone who doesn't play PvP at all, I'm going to go ahead and have a video where I take him into PvP as a complete novice. Like, sure, I've played the game before, obviously, but PvP is less than 1% of the gameplay that I use. The most PvP I play in this game is in Apex, which only happens once a month. Think about that. Once a month. Dude. Oh, man. So, yeah. When it comes to PvP, I, I really... I, I, I don't know, man. So, it, it, it kind of feels a little difficult. Because I keep thinking the, the skills will refresh. But it looks like after you do your skills, you actually have to pay attention. Um, use your special... That way everything else refreshes so you can go back into your W spam and your E spam and then try to go ahead and interrupt the E right here, bam, to do the eyeball poke thing. So uh, apparently it's an eye punch or something. I forgot what it was called right there, but what a weird thing to call it, man. So he's really just going through permeation style to your head to the eyeball. Dude, that's a uh, that's quite the thing, man. Huh? That's quite the thing. And bam, the special. I like the alt. It feels faster than some of the other alts. Some alts kind of just stall and take a long time. So I like that this one doesn't take too, too long. But yeah, as far as the uppercuts go and the super armor goes, I'm pretty happy about this character. The only bad thing about this character, if I had to say anything, is I don't love the targeting on the on the basic attack at the end even though i see because like he leaps forward so hopefully it counts as a hit but if it doesn't and you just kind of go over whoever your opponent is or your target is that could be kind of annoying and the second thing is i, I hope that he outputs real like good true damage unlike aizawa where most of his damage and again i'm not great at playing with aizawa most of his damage comes from the little trinkets that he throws on the floor and his actual special where he goes like invisible and then just kind of jumps you and that 
you know, the targeting of that is not always the best when you have it on auto. And even when you do it, people could kind of run away. And again, the targeting isn't the best. They have to add something where it slows you down so he could actually track you better. But yeah. So as you can see, man, for Miro right here, let's go ahead and up his affinity. If you didn't already know, when you do get a new character, you want to get the affinity to two so that you can get some hero coins back. You could also get it to affinity six to get even more hero coins and then if you see that there's three chapters on that character you can go ahead and get it to affinity 10 to get that but on the affinity list like because that will up their ability to assist you it doesn't really matter for talents i went all the way upper left and then all the way upper right the reason for that is because those are the only ones that give you attack the left gives you crits and crit damage the right gives you attack even though the bottom sort of like the mid part gives you some attack for 40 seconds gives you 5% attack as cool as that sound at the end you get damage reduction and honestly if it's not offensive it doesn't matter in this game especially for me that focuses on pve it's all about just damage output and how much i can do just on auto and i'll definitely fill out the rest of his energy crystals now looking at the character overall and if this is someone you want to invest in because we all know he's a powerhouse for pve literally day one people were singing his praises but is he worth anything anywhere else and is he worth upgrading because as you know all you need to use him in pvp is to unlock the character but is he worth coming up and I would say 100% yes, at triple S, he is worth it. A lot of characters you would say is, are worth it, but the huge crit change that you see is something kind of reminiscent to what you would see with Ida. If you see that there's a huge increase in crit, man, you're about to see some huge damage, but I think that before that happens, you're probably not going to see the damage that you're hoping for. If he's your favorite character, don't worry. You can just invest on him in a few months or with just a opening up of your wallet, you can see a pretty big difference once you get him from S to double S to triple S. But man, that does take a while. I have worked pretty hard to get my Endeavor to triple S, my All Might to triple S, and now my Nigeria. Nigeria is still at double S and I'm getting her to triple S. I was thinking, who should I invest in now? after Najiri. Now that I got the three characters I really wanted to to triple S, I was thinking Stain, but I think maybe Mario might be a more intelligent person for me to invest in in the future after Najiri. So we'll see. So we're gonna go ahead and check out his combos right here, man, and try to find a skill rotation that we can use when we're actually going to take on hero rating on my next video after this. And yeah, the basic attacks are a little cool. The only thing about his basic attacks and then his W and his E is everything kind of gets confusing, at least right now, because I, once again, just pulled this character and trying to figure out what he does. A lot of his skills are not, like, super, super flashy, so they actually just look like regular skills. Man, this reset, why is the W not resetting when I click on reset? It's so weird. But yeah, boom, all right? So remember, guys, that when you're doing this, after your E, you want to make sure to do the attack and interrupt it. If you don't interrupt it, the attack won't work that way. This is a super long combo. So we got, like, again, the W that's that's doubled up. Then we got the Q. Then it looks like we double up E. We hit special, double up the W, interrupt the W into the Q to switch stances once again. So it looks like it's, it's just like a pretty easy twofer so you either double up on the w's or the e and then you just always interrupt those doubles with either using your special to refresh everything or doing the q to switch stances so it's it seems kind of intuitive right now even though i messed it up it was just that i need to figure out the timing better what's the best point to interrupt so i got the interruption right there to get the uppercut as well with the q so that's pretty cool. But if you don't know what you're doing, you could just stand there and just kind of switch stances, not doing anything, which is kind of what some like a lot of new players do with uh, Aizawa. So I don't think he's going to be like that. And I think that there is there's um the skill, like the ceiling of skill that you need for this player is not huge, but it is present. And I feel like all of that will be mitigated once you get them to triple S. Which means, yeah, man, for those of you at S might be struggling, but I'm going to find out for sure when I take him into hero rating and see what he can do with just the best cards ever. Uh, maybe I'll be able to get him to level 90, but right now I still got to go over there towards the event 
and make sure that I get the special alloy. I think I got the tickets already. So all of my energy is going to go towards that right now. And I'm still saving all of the energy things. The, what is it? Like the, the little pop stuffs and the marshmallows. I'm saving all of those still so that in case the the board event comes in because that's the easy way to get hero coins but i don't know maybe i'll use it for this guy you tell me you know what if this video gets 10 likes i'm gonna do it i'm gonna spend all the energy to get him to level 90 by the next video so yeah man but ooh, ooh, there's another huge problem about this character being introduced and not just this character along with his other companion from the big three there's no space in the dorms yeah, man, and it's kind of annoying that there's the loading that we have to deal with going in and out of the dorms. But you have this whole game mode, right? This whole other section of content. And for what? We ran out of characters, man. There's five rooms. They could all get four people. And there's two people missing. And we got three pets. And they got nowhere to go, man. So, yeah. And I don't even have him, man. I'm a Jiki. I don't even have... I'm a Jiki, bro. So, yeah, man. We're going to go ahead and pull them. We're going to call it a day. But, yo... If anybody that has any control of the game is watching, you gotta, you gotta fix dorms, bro. There's not enough space for all the students. So what are we gonna do now? So this has been your boy. Anecdotal, if you like this video, man, make sure to like it, share with anybody from the MHA community. And of course, don't forget to make yourself known and comment down below. Peace.